Um, Robin is not here today, so it's just the lovely Cara Maria, who is going to discuss with us today about everything that happened on last night's episode of The Rivals. So go ahead and start. What do you have to say? Well, I mean, there's a lot to cover. So I think you froze. We... Can I can I start asking questions? Can people okay. I start answering questions? Yeah, do you want to get a question here. first? Let's just do questions. Oh, okay. Let's dig right in because then they can be the interviewers and we'll be the answerees. Gotcha. Okay. He is sending us a question. Um, but I'll start off before my questions are getting sent. But um, it sucks when you're the target of somebody's jokes on these shows. It sucks. And um, yeah. they um, they like to do it. And it, yeah, well, oftentimes it's guys more than a lot of the even girls, which is what you would think that the guys would stick with the guys and like leave the girls alone. But they don't. They it's like surprising. To do that. I've had a plunger in my bed. That was awesome. Baby powder on my clothes. Love that too. And okay, we have a whoops, Twitter question from Cool Story Ricky. Cara, why do you think everyone ganged up on you? Okay, honestly, like 99.9% .9 of people that send me messages and stuff are like Team Cara and they don't understand why this is being done. But then there's like this point one percent that will say well what are you doing what aren't they editing what are you doing that's not being shown that you deserve this happening to you and honestly like it, nothing and i'm not just saying that it's just it's when there's one person who is gang up on everybody will follow because it's not yeah. them so it gets the Absolutely. heat off of you and i'm not saying i'm a victim I'm, and i hate when people say like are you pulling the victim card because i'm not like it is what it is you saw what you saw None of that is edited, you know, really in my favor. I mean, Wes's argument is, you know, you're annoying. <laughs> and, I mean, I don't think Kenny thinks that. I don't think a lot of people in the house think that. If there's one person that thinks I'm annoying, it's not, you know, so what? If I think you're annoying, I'm not going to constantly harass you and then dump soda on your head. And the soda thing wasn't, you know, the thing that made me cry. It was just a combination of everything of that I've been dealing with up to that point. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, yeah, some people will be like, what? It doesn't it doesn't take anything in the house. It's boredom combined with some drinking that they'll be like, I just want to be mean to someone. And they want to take their frustrations out on somebody. Mm -hmm. um, okay, this is from Babe from PLV. Cara Maria, you think Laurel standing up for you was sort of vindication or caused more problems in the long run? Personally, like, it it actually hurt me. Like, when I was crying and, and Laurel was like, I just went off on Paula. Laurel actually felt really sorry about it. She came and talked to me right after and was like, I just went off on Paula. She's like, and I really tore apart. She's like, and I feel horrible about it. And I felt bad about it because to me, you know, don't, my whole thing is don't fight hate with hate. It doesn't accomplish anything to make somebody else feel like crap. And okay. it's just a vicious circle. But... Like, I, for Laurel, it was, she's not a bully, too. They were comparing, you know, what she was doing to what they were doing to me, but it's it's not really the same. Like, I don't see her as a bully. A bully is someone who constantly picks at somebody for no reason. Laurel with Big Easy and Laurel with Paula was provoked. And it was something that was just, she went off. And that's not well, bullying. In just, that's just Eric's defense, what did Eric do, though? Because, you know, he's a good friend of mine. And I know everybody I said that he he really didn't do anything. Now I understand she, that Paula, because I'm from watching it, it makes sense that Paula, um, you know, she was laughing and taunting, and she was like, "Shut the fuck up." And and well, I understand she was, that she because was, I've been Laura Laurel in situations like that where I'm like, "Shut the fuck up." You had nothing to do with what's going on. Right. I mean, I did it to um, uh, yeah, what's her name? She was on the show with you. Dark hair, Sarah. I don't know. I couldn't think of it. Think of it. Yeah, and then yeah. I just snapped on her, similar to what Laurel did. So I understand that, but I also felt like she was laughing and taunting when I was angry. So well, I understand that, but that's why Paula. Was Paula was part of like the Mean Girl group for a long period of time. Like it was when Jen was coming at me, Paula was backing her up. It was like, and then it shocked me because to me, I see Paula as somebody with a really good heart and mm -hmm. a really good person. So I'm like, why is she jumping on the bandwagon? You know, and she, I mean, because okay, it you used want to, back to be her. 
Because they used yeah, to give her just... shit all the time. And she's one, you know, you, there are some girls on the show where, like, the guys will fuck with them. And you're supposed to laugh, like, oh, it's our, we're friends. I'm like, if you're my friend, you know that I'm not going to find a plunger in the bed hilarious, okay? Like, that's going to make right. me want to fucking smack you in the nuts. <laughs> so, but as far as but the... some girls just don't want to piss them off. Like, as far as the Laurel Big Easy thing, she told me, and it wasn't edited. I mean, I, granted, she went overboard, and I'm not agreeing with what she did either. It's not bullying. It's going after somebody in a hard way. Like, she didn't continually, like, pick at them for, like, the entire show. They yeah. had one fight, and she just happens. When she goes off, She's you do not want to be in the other end of that because she will tear you apart ten ways from Sunday. But as far as the Big Easy thing, he actually had said something to her which I don't even want to say because I, I don't feel like it's my place, but he had said something like, if there's something you're really insecure about and somebody points it out to you, I mean, that would set me off. Like, if I was really insecure, say I had a skin problem and I had acne, and for a guy to say, you know, Cara, you know, what's wrong with your pitted face or something like that, then I would just go, I mean, I would probably cry. Laurel, on the other hand, fucking goes off like a, like a pit bull. So that's what right. she did in that situation. And but she ripped him apart the way he ripped her apart. Nobody wins. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. He said that he had said that stuff to her um the next day when she tried to apologize, which made him wrong because she was trying to apologize, but he walked out by the hot tub. But who cares? That's not what uh, this was about. Over okay, so with. yeah. Um, okay, so let's see. Whoops. Um, Robin S. Boyer, Twitter, wants to know, will you do more seasons? Because I don't think I could watch them anymore if you're not going to be on them. You're the <laughs> sweetest. I hope they have more seasons because I haven't heard anything yet. Have you? Neither. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's a little... I have no this idea. Is like, this seems to be the most drama-filled. They've got hookups. They've got crazy challenges, fights. This is the most A-list players you want on a challenge. I mean, this is an insane challenge, and... I haven't heard word about it getting renewed. I hope it does, because if they do and they want to ask me, I will say yes. No matter right. what I get put through, I mean, it's an experience of a lifetime. How can I say no? Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, I haven't heard anything from anyone. Where did my little I am, I am box yeah. go? Um, okay, and Ashley E. Hunt on Twitter wants to know, what did Abe say about CT's comment? Oh, that's a good one. He, like, I did a... We did a podcast with Derek, and um, hell froze over, and I did a podcast with Derek. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, whoa, what happened? <laughs> wow, I don't know. He uh, he called and said he wanted, they wanted my side of the story, so I was like, okay. Um, as far as Abram's response, he just doesn't care. Like, he doesn't watch the shows. He acts like he's better than the shows, and for him, it was something he would laugh off. Like, he... Above all, I wanted him to watch his shows to kind of see what I went through and right. stuff, but he just he just doesn't care. He stays out of all of it. So he really didn't he even care. He's like, oh, whatever. I'm sure if he even yeah. saw CT, he wouldn't even care. Like, you'd want this big, you know, CT Abram breakdown, and they just, neither one of them would even acknowledge it. Just unfazed. Yeah, just don't care. Just don't care. Um, a Twitter question from Elizabeth Rose. Cara Maria, are you and Wes on good terms now since he apologized to you on last night's after show? And we're going to go ahead and show a clip of your argument before you answer. We're going to show a clip. <laughs> Wes came and poured an entire bottle of all of my white outfit. For what? That's what he, because he's an ex <laughs> He is the one that took an entire bottle and poured it on me for no reason. No and you weren't doing the same in real life. Wes is just a little arrogant punk who doesn't have a mother who spank his ass when he was little. No one likes you. No one What? Is that a oh, 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 oh. You're you like Carl. I like Carl. Anybody in this house? I like you, Carl. I'm the only one that has Carl's back. Carl, I got your ass. No one is sticking up for her. Do you have anything else besides no one likes you? I, I do. Do you have anything else besides no one likes you? Yeah. But... Stand the f up and get the f out. I'm I'm pissed sorry. the f off. Yeah, I know. Get the, get the f out. Amazon. Sneakers. <laughs> yes, Amazon. Get the f out. Firecrop. Right, get the f out I'm before working. I kick your f ass. I'm you understand? Yeah. Kick get my the ass. out. Kick my ass. Get the f out. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I mean, Wes, the thing is, I'm like when people see this, they think it just happened and they think all the feelings are fresh. And they are when I when I rewatch it and I live through I feel like I'm living through it again. But right. um on the next episode, I actually confront Wes. So I don't want to talk about any of that right now because I don't want to give anything away. But um, as far as the, the terms, because basically what's going on is I'm taking all this hatred and I'm like, there's something wrong with me. Like, why are, why are people being like this? Like, what did I do? And for me, I, I know I didn't do anything, but I'm not outright saying, hey, Wes, what's your problem with me? And I'm about to do that on the next episode. So we'll see right. what he so has can. to say. So that if he says, if he says, Kara, you know, you're a horrible person and you beat little children and puppies, you know, then I'd be like, wow, I really do suck and deserve all this. But if he says, hey, Kara, you know, I don't like the fact that you have skulls in your hair, then I'll be like, oh, wow. So everything you've said and done to me, you look like the idiot and, you know, I'm, I've, I'm, I have nothing to cry about anymore because that's so dumb. You know what I mean? So as far as our terms right now, he's apologized. Like, on the after show, he apologized. He apologized after the after show. I did a YouTube video. And for me, I don't harbor hate or ill will. Like, if you apologize and, you know, admit that what you did was wrong, then I'll take it, yeah. and, you know, and we'll move on from there. You know, so I I respect that, but I know the type of person he is. So, I mean, I'm not. we're not going to be best friends. We're not going to be friends. We're going to agree to disagree. He's going to be like the, you know, horrible older stepbrother and I'm going to be his annoying little stepsister and we're just going to agree to disagree. We just, you know, that's it. I have a couple of those kind of relationships on the show too. (laughs) I mean, you can't, I mean, we're all family. Like if somebody says crap about somebody on the show. Yeah, outside of us, outside of people on the show, if we were out in a bar, even the person you look like you hate on the show, if we were out someplace and somebody threw a drink at that person, we'd all gang up and be, we're loyal to each other outside of this, but in the game, yeah. you just can't be. And and and, and the thing hard. is, is you know, you, you're surrounded by by cameras 24/7. Like in real life, I don't I don't go off and, and cry all the time. You know, I cry probably. The only time I cry is on these stupid shows. You're in a, a very vulnerable state. You're surrounded by cameras 24/7, especially when 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 you're really upset. You want to go off by yourself. That's the time where there's going to be a camera right in your face catching yeah. every minute of, and it just doesn't help make it better. There's no alone time. There's no privacy. It's just, it's all out there. So Yeah, and in your real life, if it. you don't get along with people, you leave. And you yeah. can't leave because you're stuck in a house. Like, if I'm like, ooh, you know, there's a bitch in a bar I don't like, then I, like, leave. Or you remove yourself from a situation. Or you surround yourself with people you obviously do like. So And you see them for mean, breakfast, yeah. lunch, and dinner. And then you see them on a challenge, and they're in the way of your money, and then they're gonna their vote, you know, affects your life, and it just yeah. it's a whole surreal. I have to keep telling myself every time I do these, I have to say this is not real life. Every time I yeah. have to remind myself this isn't real. <laughs> That's just what you no, keep it's telling true. Yourself. And in a few like few weeks, I'm gonna be at home. I'm gonna be hanging out with people that like me, that I like. Yeah. Hopefully in I a mean, few weeks. Hopefully not in two days. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's true. You're like I hope it's a few weeks. As much as okay. I hate being here, I don't want to go home. Yeah, it's, it's a hate-love relationship on these things. You're so excited, you love it, and then you're like, I can't wait to go home, and you're like, I don't want to say that out loud, because then everyone's going to think, well, now we have a reason to get get rid of it. Yeah. Um, okay. Now, it, this is from Lizzie Elise. She says, Car Maria, when you look back on your experience on Rivals, are you happy Laurel ended up being your partner? I, honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better partner. And we discovered, basically... People want to say she treated me horribly on Cutthroat, but I don't agree to that. I think she played the game. We annoy. I annoyed, I guess, the hell out of her. Like, I guess she, for whatever reason, I couldn't understand her. She couldn't understand me. We did, had no idea where the other person was coming from. And on this challenge, we were forced to work together. And we discovered a lot of things that we had in common and you know we ended up being really good friends because of it and it's funny because going on I a vacation together <laughs> i literally have no girlfriends i have maybe two acquaintances all my friends are guys so i don't i lost my best friend recently because she's not lost as if she she got killed or anything but she's in an right. abusive relationship that i want no part of so i'm stepping away from that stepping away from her altogether because i've warned her enough and i'm not dealing with that anymore so i have one i had one close friend and now i've got the nun so 
me and Laurel have been texting a lot, talking a lot, and I think I've made a really good friend, you know, when it's all said and done. So That's good. That's awesome. Her. She's taught me a yeah, lot. Yeah, I mean, sometimes some of your friendships come in, like, weird ways on these things. Like, my biggest rival, like, years ago was Veronica. And, and Veronica and I are friends now. Like, we chat on the phone. We'll talk on, like, Instant Messenger, Facebook, Twitter, whatever else. But people all the time are constantly like, yeah, fuck her. And sending her messages like, fuck Katie. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, God, she was a bitch to me eight years ago. I get it. And you know what? Over the, she knew I wasn't going to take it again. And then we ended up partnering up a little bit on Cutthroat. Like, fuck these people. And like, you have to move on because if you just sit there and like, I mean, sometimes a lot of it's a misunderstanding. Like with you and Laurel, like if she thought you were annoying, she didn't really know you enough to even be able to like decide that. And you didn't know her enough to know if she was a bitch or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. And um, and same thing with Veronica. We were both like she had been on the shows longer and I was a new person. So, you know how that is. And that was why she didn't like me. And of course, I hated her because she was mean to me. And and, you know, it's just how it is. But and I was always watching the shows. Team Katie. I would always root for my little <laughs> underdog. I'm like, yeah, I'm Katie I know. I'm telling you, I know how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> I know you of all people get it. So. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I've been there, I've been there. And yeah, and I know what you mean when you're like, I just don't want them to see me cry because there's something about letting the source of your pain or sadness see you vulnerable. It's like they feel like they won, and it's just like, well, yeah. fuck you. You didn't win, but I'm a human being, and I have feelings, and there's only so much a person can take before yeah, yeah you either like want to like blow up or... And it's not like Wes did the whole soda thing out of joking, I'm joking, haha. He did it specifically to hurt me. He's not doing it for It wasn't like giggles. playful, yeah. It wasn't playful. It wasn't, oh, ha ha, you spilled soda on me. Now I'm going to throw a cornbread at your head. You know, it was specifically to hurt me. So, so there's a difference. And it, you know, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. There, there was a lot of things leading to that incident. Yeah, and they, unfortunately, they don't show a lot of it. So, like, with me, they, they just showed my big blow up with Veronica, but they didn't show me going in to, like, congratulate this other girl who had won, and then them saying, get out of our room, get out of our room, and I was like, no, no, it's the real rules room, I can be in here if I want, but they didn't show any of that, and then it was like them, like, cornering me, and then I was like, well, fuck you, and started throwing shit, and then the big blow-up happened, I was like, I'll take all you fucking bitches on, let's go, and then I was like, I love and I, watching I'm, you, Katie. <laughs> and I'm like, Laurel, I'll just go for every fucking thing. I'll make it up. I'll be like, yeah, everybody talks about this. You're fucking disgusting. I'll just make it up. But I just will go so hard and so fast. And then I felt I, like an asshole. <laughs> I, I suck. But. Like, I, I cannot get in an argument with people. My biggest argument is, well, you have a stupid face. So, I mean, you saw there was a side clip when I was yelling at CT and I said, you fucking fuck. I have, n I am the worst person to argue ever. That's why I just. I just walk away. I can't well, argue. That's a good quality. I mean, being able to argue someone does nothing unless you're a lawyer. I promise you. Right. I mean, you're going to go round and round in circle typically, or you say shit that's so awful you regret it, or you embarrass yourself. I mean, unless you're a lawyer, there's really not a big benefit. I mean, I think defending yourself is always important, but, I mean, being showing weakness doesn't make anybody any different. We all have them, and some people just, you know... So, and they didn't, he didn't see you upset, so fuck him. Yeah. Okay. He didn't get to see me cry. Yeah, yeah. Cameron um, said he didn't. Right, exactly. So, you know, he's probably out there doing whatever the hell. And it, that's weird because it's Wes, because he's he's gotten to be the target. And I don't care how tough he acts. I know it's got to hurt his feelings a little bit, you know, from the ruins and different shows that he's done. So that's why I just don't really understand that. Like, if you don't like me, don't like me. This house is big enough. Go fucking hang out with somebody else. Yeah. But that's that taunting shit that I think is just bullshit. Yeah. Um, we're all we're old old enough to know better. Yeah, and that, that's the thing. It's like it's not high school. We are with people that are in their twenties. Some people are in their thirties. It's just like, are you kidding? Yeah. Are you kidding? And then and they all sit around and they laugh like it is like the kid in high school. Let me just say to the viewers, you know, if you are in high school and you're getting in an argument and somebody's like, well, you're a real bitch. And you kind of feel embarrassed because they embarrassed you in front of the whole lunch table. Imagine it on national television with millions of people getting to see that 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 moment of you yeah. being ridiculed with all these people watching. And then you have the other assholes who want to get on Twitter and be like, "Yeah, I agree. You are this and that." And it's like, and this is all I like have to that, say, to you fucks. That you don't know bring, anything that you're talking about. Right. You haven't been there. <laughs> that does actually bring me back to high school. I've actually never experienced anything as bad as on the show. 
But in high school, I mean, I had the cyberbullying. I had... I was not the popular girl by any means. I was the weirdo. I had braces that went like this and shot out of my mouth when I was trying to talk to people. I would wear bright blue eyeshadow thinking it looked good with crunchy hair. I mean, I just had no idea. Aww. I was a big nerd, and I was never part of the popular group. And, in fact, they, the actual popular group took pride on picking on me. And they would make up screen names and harass me online. This was before Facebook and Twitter. They, I had people come to my house and put, you know, mustard and ketchup and bologna, because bologna, like, gets rid of your uh, paint, like, put it all over my car before. Oh, I mean, wow. people went out of their way to make me feel, and I didn't sleep with anybody in high school. I was not, I'm not yeah. one to do that. I actually take pride on not hooking up with a lot of people, because it makes me unavailable. And so people, because the guys couldn't get with me, and the girls hated me, they just did everything they could to make my life hell, and I felt alone, and I hated going to school. I just hated high school so much. I never wanted to go. Even back to grammar school, I never got my good grades and got the hell out, and that's what I did. And so now I feel like on this past show, it all just kind of came back to me, and it, I just don't, I'm just not on the same wavelength as a lot of people, I guess. But yeah, it just I brought mean, high school back to me. And that. That sucks, but I'm sure all the people you went to high school with are trying to be your friend on Facebook, right? No, they're actually not. No? I haven't heard one word. <laughs> I, I haven't heard one word from anybody that I went to high school with. I think they know better. Mm -hmm. But it's just, for me, this whole thing gives me a platform to say to other kids, you know, even they might be looking at me and being like, oh, she's got cool style, and they actually might, they, they actually think I'm cool, but I'm not. <laughs> and it gives me a way to say, even if you think I'm cool, people will still do this to you, and it's kind of a way to, I'm just standing my ground no matter what, and I just want other people to see what I've gone through, you know, to make them stronger, so I hope it yeah. kind of helps other kids, because it's not, I'm not a victim, I'm not going to play the victim, people say I am playing the victim card, but I'm not at all, for me, it's just a way to say, you know, you can be strong, and you can fight back, and in the well, end, I don't understand how people can say the victim thing when, I mean, because I cried, <laughs> because you cried? How does that make you a victim? It means your feelings are hurt. Like, I know. Look up in a dictionary what a victim is, you fucking idiots. I know. People well, are I stupid. mean, you can't please everybody. A million people are going to watch the same thing but and it, you have a million different things to say. Yeah, so, because they, yeah, people are always, yeah, they have something to say. And that's why yeah. you, can't, you can't, like... You can't please everybody. But from the outside looking true. in, for me, when all this was going down, I felt completely alone. But then, you know, now that America gets to watch it and they're in my corner, it's like if only I could have felt what you know, all the yeah, love and everything so from everybody true. watching it. And then the people actually doing it look like fools. Granted, kids go through this every day in school, and they don't have cameras that are going to show it after the fact. Right. But it's just, I don't know, I just hope. Because I, after I watched and experienced the Inferno w w when I was there, I, I handled it pretty tough. But when I watched it, I was like, I felt sorry for myself. And I was like kind of embarrassed because I'm watching it with like my friends, and I'm like, Wow, they were like, I was like the big dork on that one. I just guess I didn't see it. I was like, that was pretty mean. And like, I'm watching a little bit of stuff. My eyes were and you're like, you crying? I'm like, no. But then <laughs> I was just like, man, fuck them. That was really mean. But, and, but plus, and you know, when you're there, you hear what they're saying to your face. But then you're watching the interviews. Or you're yeah. hearing like their group sessions of talking about you. And you're like, damn, that was really mean. And then you can't help that your feelings get hurt. And you're just like, yeah. wow. But I mean... Yeah, and I would sit there and be like, wow, wow. And I'd be like, wait till the reunion. I'm going to rip some fucking heads off. And like, I know. And then know, by the time just... the reunion comes around, everybody's already talked and, and made Or, yeah, and they're all, well, oh, anymore. I've had people, like, knock on my hotel door, like, the night that we fly in, be like, can I, can I talk to you for a minute? I just want to make sure everything's cool. Yeah. cool. His name's like, Evan. Me and, me and Laurel have already talked. We are going into this reunion, and we don't want to party the night before. We don't want to see anybody. You know how they'll put you all together? for the mm -hmm. reunion and you watch the final together so you see what, what how it's edited and what happens. We don't want to talk to anybody. We want to have our own room, be by ourselves, and then when we see people on the stage is the first time we see people because I don't want to have a chance to even make eye Because so many people, anybody. you can sit there and have a conversation, shake hands, everything's cool, and then they'll get on that stage and be like, so Cara Maria, and I'll be like, well, hang on, what yeah. about that? Like last night when we were sitting at that sushi restaurant talking and everything yeah. was, so well, we're gonna not, and then they later they say, I just need to address it on TV. Then let me know that or say, we're not having this conversation until we're on that stage. You know, yeah. like we didn't get to have the conversation of you calling me all these fucking names prior to being, you know, on camera. So like we're doing it like this. 
Yeah. People are so, assholes. I mean, we're okay. That's a good okay. idea, though. I definitely suggest that. Stay apart until, you know, I want to see them when I see them on the stage, and that's it. So it's a genuine reaction, and nobody can yeah. accuse you of being phony when you, like, you know, high five them the night before. Right. Um, Okay, would you say, and this is from Dat's Headlamb, question for Carter Maria, who is worse to you, Laurel on Cutthroat or Wes? And would you ever see yourself being friends with Wes? Wait, we answered that, or something very similar. Yeah, Wes, Wes okay. was worse, and me and Wes aren't going to be friends. <laughs> and Andrew Kirk F21 wants to know, for everyone out of all the guys, who are the three of the most trustworthy on these challenges? Out of all, all challenges, I guess he's saying. Well, on so. on this, on I'll say on rivals, I'll go with Brandon, because he'll yeah. always be honest. He's real. He will tell it like it is. I will never say a bad word about Brandon. He's just no all girl good. will. He's awesome. All good. Uh, I I like Kenny, but I think he spreads himself too thin. Mm. You can't be friends with everybody and have everybody's back. But I I think he's a good person. But then as far as trustworthy. <laughs> Honestly, the only guy I would say is trustworthy is Brandon Nehemiah, but I didn't get to. Me and Nehemiah didn't get to. He talk. He was on a different. I love Nehemiah though. So Brandon Nehemiah, that's it. Um, I would go with Brandon too. Um, part of me wants to say Adam King, but Adam King gave me the fuck you. Part of me wants to say Derek, but Derek gave me the fuck you on Cutthroat, which really, really hurt my feelings. That was the only show I've ever cried on, by the way is because I just couldn't believe he didn't have my back. I mean, I was literally stunned. And then I went crying to Brandon. But I think Brandon would have my back. So, I don't well, know. Well, even if like, he doesn't, even if he doesn't have your back, he'll be honest about it. Honest. Man, that's He's not going to, like, I don't see Brandon as anybody you? who's going to. Because you know when you're going in when nobody talks to you and tells you the heads up. Or nobody, like, looks at you. Mm-hmm. You know, you'll be in the kitchen and it'll be, like, just you in the kitchen and that person will walk in and they turn around, like, I'll just get it later, because she's by herself. It's like, you fucking pussies. I just like, <laughs> I get it, you're throwing me in. You can still get your water. I'm not going to go fucking crazy. You act like a weirdo. <laughs> but I like off. it when you do. <laughs> you I crack me it. up. It's the lies, but that's why, like, that one time I was like, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I remember you and I sitting in the kitchen, and I'm talking, you're like, why do you, you get drunk hands? And I was like, yeah, and you're like, well, we're probably going to end up going against each other. Like, <laughs> like a robot. What a weirdo. We totally would have, too. You, we would have been together. We would have been gone against each other. Yeah, because they kept sending you in. Like, yep, we're in the same spot. We're like, cheers. <laughs> um, okay, so Andrew Kirk F1. Oh, wait, we just did him. Okay, J.E. Karma, Carmi, wants to know if you can smell CT's bio from your house. I don't know what that means. I'm just going in order. Does he smell? He just, he would do a challenge, and he would work out all day, and he just wouldn't shower. So, like, I could never be, like, attracted to him, per se. Like, I was never attracted to him. I think he's a great-looking guy, but he just wouldn't, he would just be sweaty all day. I'm like, well, take a shower, grossy. I'll say that to his (laughs) face, too. I'm like, why aren't you showering, dirty brain? Um... Okay, here's a good one. Um, what was your favorite challenge? And this is from Tina M. Buckman. Tina, yeah. my favorite challenge so far? And I'm, I'm well, going to say you can <laughs> answer it out of the three challenges you've done or, like, all the challenges you competed in on Rivals. Oh, oh, well, my favorite challenge, honestly, is Rivals. I will say, like, overall, out of Fresh Meat, not like I can even count Fresh Meat, Cutthroat to Rivals, even though I had Abram on Cutthroat, I feel like Rivals I, I liked better because I got to stand on my own even more so. Right. Um, and as far as my favorite challenge on Rivals, I'm going to go with Car Crushers. It wasn't the most fun to watch, but it was the most fun to do. And I don't, I'm not a fan of heights or water, and I feel like every challenge was heights over water. So. Yeah, it looked like it. And, mm-hmm. and I'm going to be that asshole that you're probably going to be like, Katie, go fuck yourself. But when I watched that ladder thing, I feel like I could have I done that with the helicopter. Am I just being stupid? Because you've seen me freak out. Would that have been scary for me? I, if I was just dangling, I feel like I could have handled that. Oh, just dangling from a helicopter. That, that shelter, I didn't have to do anything. I was dangling from a helicopter. Yeah, and the only reason- I think I would have been good. On, on, um, on our fresh meat combines, I was actually the best one to climb up the rope. We had a, a oh, rope, yeah. and I climbed up to where the guys were supposed to climb to, um, better than all the other girls. And so on this one, I was thinking, oh, man, I should climb. But I was in such a bad headspace because of everything that was going on in the house. And plus, I didn't yeah. want 
if we lost, I didn't want it to be on me. <laughs> I'd rather have Laurel. <laughs> I'd rather have it be on Laurel. So like, so she took the reins on that one. So I just, you know, hung out and waited for her to pull me down. <laughs> Right. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, I could, I could do that, and I'd be like, look at yeah. great competitor. It was just a fun <laughs> ride. I was just like, Wee! yeah. I, I don't feel like that wouldn't have scared me, but I can't. You it know, didn't. on TV, you can't tell how high it is, but it didn't look it like didn't, it was crazy high. It didn't scare me at all. I wasn't scared, and oh. I'm not a fan of heights, but I mean, hanging from a helicopter, I just felt like I was flying. I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> wow, that's nice. Um, this is from Dancing Bot, um, and then Dancing Bot Hibbo. I guess uh, Ahmed. I don't know. I'm saying it as I see it. Carla, who's at the uh, who's the best girl player in the house? You mean who's the strongest athlete? That's what it. Um, I mean, it's the kind best, of yeah, probably I would yeah. Say, I mean, obviously Evelyn and Laurel. I mean, that's I thought that's just hands down, just hands down. Evelyn and Laurel, yeah. I mean, those are yeah. they're known for it. So, I mean, I, I figured for sure you're gonna say me. Kind of offended. <laughs> no, <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> <laughs> kidding okay um whoa you are getting lots of questions okay hang on ask me questions okay um this is from amber smiles 216 cara i'm a big fan would you guys give me a birthday shout out happy birthday amber smiles 216 happy birthday amber smiles 216 <laughs> Um, there's a lot of questions, so we're going to have to be like, Whoop. okay, Let's this do is it. both of you guys, you like potatoes. Um, what, no. is that that Anya chick? She's been asking me that, like, she keeps asking me that. I don't know if it's a potato fetish or something, but I've been, she <laughs> asked me that like 50 million times. I'm not it even It was two it's people. Creepy. It was two people. So she must have two Twitters. It's ILJ, ILJS12 and Dancing Bot. And then Dancing Bot also asked, did Laurel's, Laurel's, uh, help really help you yeah. i don't know i mean well, obviously the, 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 the I potato are thing retarded. Though, the potato thing i've been asked i mean i don't is that like a thing is that like a new teenager like fun joke like you know there's like things that kids like get that we don't. and cones yeah exactly is it just like oh like you like potatoes like is that something or is that like a fetish i don't get it it's really bothering me though <laughs> i don't have any yes idea. i like potatoes <laughs> fried as french fries I don't, Sometimes a baked potato, cheese, and onions, and, you know. I mean, does potato and... mean something? Is it, like, a side? Is it, you know, teeny yeah, bopper code word for Yeah, Will you tweet that to, um, at RTV Zone and let us know if the potato thing is just a weird chick or if it's, like, some kind of, like, teenage joke where you don't understand. You don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of school. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't know. If it, it, may be, it might be something that, you know, they were talking about on the Disney Channel or Nickelodeon that we don't know yeah, about. Yeah, it's like, yeah, know. you like potatoes? How like, do you answer? like these what's potatoes? The, what's the cool <laughs> answer? Please tell me. <laughs> um, from I Love Ariana 101, um, how do you feel about Paula? I feel like I am thankful. Paula was genuinely apologetic after she saw what happened on the, on the Rivals After Show, and she genuinely apologized to me, and I feel like she's looking at me and talking to me different than in the house, but living in the house with her, and I, I honestly feel I'm she's... I'm turning on a light. Sorry. I, Sorry. I honestly feel she's got a really good heart. Um... And she's a good person and a good athlete, actually. Really good athlete. She works out. You know, she's she's a good athlete. I just feel, I I just was shocked at, she could be really mean. But yeah, it's she, usually she's after she's been drinking. Be. Was she drinking when she was doing all that? Aren't we all drinking? Oh, yeah, that's What else is there true. to do in that house? <laughs> Everybody's uh, drinking in every true. scene. Yeah. <laughs> Um, whoops, I need to restore down, and, okay, um, Carl, do you think Laurel took it overboard with Paula, and this is from C. Sanders? I mean, yeah, she did. I mean, I'm not going to condone what Laurel did, but, you know, she, she's a pit bull. She'll come at you like a pit bull if, and, and she was sick. She hadn't, she'd held her comments back the entire show. And then she finally just let it go because it got to a point where it was just overboard and, and Paula was just in her way and she kept meh, 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 and Laurel just took off with it. So I don't know what she did, but I appreciate that she stood up for me. Right. And she, absolutely. you know, the wrath of Laurel is not something you want to be on the other side of <laughs> ever. <laughs> um, digital crazy. It says karma. Is that a new thing too? C A R and then at big M A. 
I don't or maybe know. it was maybe, maybe that's a new nickname for me, Karma. <laughs> yeah, Karma Maria. Uh, Karma. Um, Laurel had your back on the show. How do you feel about her now? We've kind of answered that. Yeah, we're um, lunch crunch blue crunch berry. Have you talked to Derek since the podcast? Besides on Facebook, no. Is that his wife? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that his wife checking up on him? No, I have not. Don't worry. It was just the, um, it was just the podcast. That's it. That's funny. Um, C. Sanders, uh, which show do you think is better, Real World or Road Rules? Road Rules. I, I love that show. That was my favorite show. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm sad, I'm sad when it ended. I used to love watching that show. That's funny. Did you ever – well, gosh – you probably didn't see my season. That was like in 2001. I, <laughs> I probably Wait, did well, when it aired, but I can only go back as far as MTV.com will let me to see old shows. I wish there was a whole, you know, they should have a website of all the old challenges in the real worlds because I'd love to see them. Yeah, they. Yeah, I wish they'd aired on like MTV2 or something. Um. Okay. Uh, do we want to see the clip of Laurel Reman out Paula and making her cry? Or no? Uh, why not? Okay, here we go. We have a lot of questions. I mean, I, I'm down to answer like as many questions as we can. It helps when you're filtering them because I can't answer them all when I do the Ustream. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> what's that in my reality? Paul, first, shut the first up. First off, oh, like first off. Yeah, shut the up. Hey, 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 get hey. out here and shut the up. up. Hold Stupid reject of a life. All right, Laurel. All right. What else do you have to say? No, you have you fake boobs. No you have fake boobs. You're anorexic. You oh. can't get a <laughs> husband. You don't have kids. You're ugly. Shut the hey, up. Hey, don't insinuate her past with what's going on here. Stop getting in the middle of everything. You can go to sleep. And you can get the <laughs> out of my friend's face. Okay. She? Yeah? Cry your heart out, you anorexic bitch. I want you to cry because you're worthless. Ouch. Every time I see that, I have no idea. I would never, I don't even know where she pulls that out of. I would just be looking at Paul and telling her her face is stupid and. Her just, hair shut is brown. just shut up, just shut up, just shut up. She just, she goes for the jugular. No, I mean, Laurel is good at what she does. Just don't get on the road bad side. Um, Wyatt Sarah says, it seems like Kenny and Wes are actually friends now that they are partners. Do you agree? No. Yeah. Do you? Um, I mean, I don't know. I know they did that 7-Eleven commercial. I don't think they hate, hate each other as much as they play it up, like, on the shows. I don't think, and like, I don't think they hate each other. I just know that, you know, they're not going to call each other up and say, hey, want to go to the movies this weekend or want to go to a party? I'm, I'm, you know. But I can, I I can actually can... picture them, like, sitting in a bar having beers and giving each other shit and making fun of, yo, you fucking, like, redhead, and then him saying stuff. But, I mean, I don't know because um, I feel like they've kind of, like, benefited off of their own personal rival. You know, Wes that, is doing a, a real bad job of trying to be Kenny on this season. Trying to, all the comments about, like, I'm beautiful, it, you know. Oh, he's doing that shit now? Yeah, he's trying to, like, he's trying to act like Kenny, and it's just not working. I him. hate when people try to adopt personalities. It's like, really, get your own. You obviously you mean, had a decent one if you got on these fucking shows. Now, why are you trying to be someone else? You mean Vinny when he was trying to be Kenny as well? Kenny, yeah. I mean, I have, <laughs> I have no idea. People are so weird. Okay, um, I forgot about that, yeah. And his pink socks. Hey, um, guys. Yeah. What are you doing? Hey. Um, what's poppin' 34? Is Johnny still alive or does CT kill him on the next episode? I can't tell you that. Johnny's tweeting, so he's alive. <laughs> yeah. um, Miller Heat LBJ says, what do you think Wes and people are referring to when they call you annoying? I don't know. No. They don't like my hair or style i mean i have no idea i don't party or really do anything with them i kind of keep to myself so i don't even know where they get that i'm annoying from they don't like the fact it, that i 
like I like horses. I really couldn't tell. I know, but the adjective them. annoying, if you know, if someone's calling it, it's usually something that's like if you had a high pitched voice, which you don't, or if you made like a noxious laugh, or if you did something like <laughs> Yeah, or yeah, I mean, I could see a lot of things that could be annoying, but I really don't, I don't agree with that one. So, I, I think that you. was just a weak adjective to like use. I mean, I would rather be called a lot of things, or or, or at least people, yeah, and spend, they're going to insult me, kind of pick something dead on. Yeah. You know. At least say, I don't um, like your hair because you're, you're an attention whore. At least say something like that, you know, that, you know, just, right. I'm not, I don't understand how I'm annoying on these shows, and I think. You know, he's you do kind of keep to yourself, even like when everyone's partying. I mean, you're like drinking, but you're not like one of the wilder ones. You know, you just wear your slippers and kind of chill out. I think that's annoying to some people (laughs) because they don't they don't understand me. I'm a little weird, and some people appreciate it, and some. But that would be weird. That wouldn't be annoying. I mean, if I don't know, I don't. I don't know. know. Um, Lacey Face one says. I know Lacey Face. She asks me questions all the time. Well, she says, who do you think is your biggest rival on Rivals, guy and girl? That's a good one, too. <laughs> Wes and Jen, I guess. Yeah, probably. I, you know what I think is underrated, too, is Tyler. I mean, he he was part of the Mean Girl group. He is one diva. To, to my she, face, to my sure face he will tell me, Cara Maria, you're so beautiful, and you're so special, and he'll say that stuff to my face, and, you know, truly – talk me up and the next minute you'll turn around he'll go diva on me and you know I go to sit down at a chair and he goes excuse me that's my chair you're gonna have to get up he gets really mean mean. and I'll I'll be put off by him I'm like how can you be really nice to me one minute and tell me how beautiful I am and how much you like me and how oh you're just such a good person car blah 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 and then the next minute he does do that I never really thought about it but you're right he'll like he flipped the script. Yeah, he's just, uh, he's not, you don't, he's not the same person, you know, consistently. At least I'm pretty, I'm the same person consistently. I can't believe There's... we only have 15 minutes left. Oh, okay, let's ask. I'm not kidding. Okay, more okay. um, all right, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Who's your favorite team on the show? Obviously, it was our own, but that was from I Love Ariana 101. <laughs> um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Dax Headland says, ladies, who are the real people on these challenges? I mean, who is the same person on and off camera? Me. Laurel's (laughs) Laurel's pretty much the same. Um, But there's more to her that a lot of people don't know. Katie, I'd say you're the same, obviously. Yeah, I always Um, act like an idiot. (laughs) But, I mean, as far as on Rivals, I mean, Kenny, they, they, I mean, you know, I don't know. Brandon. Um, oh, yeah, he's a, he's just such a cool dude. He's so, like, drama-free. He just wants to drink and, like, sit yeah. and bullshit. And he is a um, hell, of, hell of a rapper battler. They didn't show, they didn't think, even yeah. show the extent of how I, bad he put them in their place. It was funny. Wow. Um, Immortal171 says, Cara Maria, I'm your biggest fan. Can I get a shout-out on Twitter? Uh, hi, Immortal. I guess I'll try to remember 171. that. When I go on Twitter. What is it? <laughs> Immortal 171. Immortal 171. I'm doing you one better. I'm saying hi here. <laughs> and I am Vanessa Gavia says, do you think people that are defending you are now taking it too far, like bashing Paula? That's That was my whole thing. You know, Paula owned up to what she did. She apologized. So you don't need to continue the hate on Twitter toward her at all. I mean, I, I wouldn't, even if she didn't apologize, I wouldn't encourage, you know, doing that. I, she sees what she did. She apologized. Leave it at that. Yeah, besides every all the viewers wanting to let you know about what an idiot you are, trust me, there's nothing any of you guys can send us on Twitter or Facebook that, like, you probably don't either feel yourself or your mom didn't fucking bitch you out for, okay? So we get mm-hmm. it. Um, but thanks. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, Cara, do, 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 people. Okay. Cara, Mia. Mia. Cara, Maria. Who dimples. did you your little dimples, Katie. <laughs> My face is probably huge because I'm like reading all at the. It's all in this corner. So I'm like, hey. here, I'll come. I'll come close too. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, check out my pores, guys. Um, <laughs> let's see, DD2409, Cara Maria. Did you? Who did you see as your biggest competition in Rivals? The biggest competition is actually my partner. So I'm glad I was her partner because I had to keep up with her. 
Oh, I like this question. Coach Nera, what type of challenge do you want next? Like Fresh Meat 3, Dual 3, etc. I would given that they're doing another show. I like um I like big teams, but I think a duel is overdue where everybody yeah. is on their own. See, everyone leaves me the fuck alone because they think I suck. So they're like, yeah, we want her at the end. And I just like, woohoo. <laughs> then yeah, that means I need to start like sucking. <laughs> hey, sometimes well, it benefits because then people want you at the end because they think they can beat you. But that's how they ended up losing, actually. That's how I won the Inferno. I love that. They're like, because I'm the one who won it. I figured out the puzzle. I'm so cool. Yes, <laughs> I will toot my own home. It's been a long time, 2003, but I didn't forget, okay? And held um, your head. On, I remember watching you on TV holding your breath underwater in the tank. Oh, that was so gross. And I was I was so rooting for you. And, I and it was know, weird I just... when I watched it because I was like convulsing like a weird fuck. <laughs> it was like so strange. <laughs> Because I was, like, so excited and nervous, and it was just weird. Um, what's poppin' 34? What is your natural hair color? Uh, Brown. Can I find it? <laughs> that. The same color as my eyebrows. Dark. It's dark. Dark brown. Brown. Um, Blackish. Who do you want to beat in the jungle the most? From Binzer, sorry, uh, Bin, Brinzer 13. Honestly, the most satisfying win would be against Laurel or Everlyn because they're the most killer. I, not like I'd want to or that I would challenge right. Laurel because I really, you know, I'm on her side. But, but it'd um, be fun because the question is who would you want to beat? Well, you'd want to beat the best because it'd I want to awesome. beat the best. But I would also think it would be way more satisfying to beat Jen. Just <laughs> satisfying. Um, Kelly X O thirty four. Is it hard to put your hair up with the beads? They are wicked cool, by the way. Smiley face. Um, you know what I? You know what I do? I do the sideshow bob. Let me see if I can show you. I call it my sideshow bob, and I'll take all my hair on top of my head, and literally <laughs> just go like, and I walk around the house like this, <laughs> like with my hair just like all on top of my head. That's what I do. <laughs> It's not hard. I have a question. So I bought this waiver thing. Is this not? It, tell the I truth, love it. guys. I, does it look a little like, I'm not trying to be 80s. I just wanted like some kind of cool wave. My boyfriend's iffy on it. He doesn't I love it. I, it's actually the first thing I noticed. I really like it's, it. It's this little like T-I-G-I -I little thingy and you just clip That's it. That's what I, I wanted like, to get. I wanted to get the crimper actually. It's <laughs> at like, Ulta random crimp pieces. for like 30 bucks. So I was like. I want to try it, but what I wanted was the 1940s, like smooth. But those are like oh. bigger waves. It didn't, it didn't come out. So I can't decide if I look like a dork or not. I'm willing to take that. No, nope. it was the first thing I noticed <laughs> when you sat down. I approve. I the hair. My boyfriend's cut the grass. Approved. He's like, what? I don't know about that. I said, what do you mean? He's like, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm like, well, good thing I don't get ready for you. Um, I do. Um, okay, so. This is from Cool Story Ricky. What did you think of Tyler's reaction to the votes? Do you think the same reaction would have happened if the rookies went in? No, of course not. And I love Leroy for calling him out. Me Leroy, too. Like, that made I was oh like, oh my god. god. He was like, boom. And and I, was, and I hate when veterans say, you haven't done this yet. It's like, shut the fuck up. It doesn't matter if you've done it one time or if you've done them ten times. It still is gonna suck when you go in. So don't sit there and act if you're a rookie. You don't have any idea what it feels like. It sucks right. if you've been doing it ten times or the first time. So it's not like this foreign feeling. It was just weird and how I, I looked down on him. Go Le Leroy has been. Oh, I I haven't even mentioned. Leroy and Mike Mike, they're the same on and off as well. They were on last week, and they made me happy. That. They were so much oh, fun. I they just kept asking Mike me and Mike. Robin questions. <laughs> I've, I forgot. I forgot. I completely forgot. I, I, Mike Mike, I freaking adore him. And then Leroy, he has had more than one occasion on this show where he's coming in as the new guy who technically everybody should hate and want to chuck off the show. You know, immediately the new guys are like, oh, that's an easy out. You know what I mean? But they right. came on, and everybody was pissed because they all like them. They like the both of them, Leroy and Mike. You know, if Adam stuck around, people wouldn't have been able to handle him. People were already getting sick of him. But yeah. um, Leroy came in, and everybody adored him. And he's had more than one occasion where he has called a vet out. He called Wes out, too. You know, and he, he doesn't care. He will tell you exactly what he thinks of you and lay it on the line. And he has – he's really good at, you know, saying what Oh, he, he was awesome too. last week. I really liked him having him on here. I, he's um, awesome. How, this is from Yadi Ra, it says, how does it feel to Yadira. be the classiest, hottest chick in challenge history with a smiley face? Aww, I paid her to say that. 
<laughs> well, Jacob Mountain said the same thing, so I think people might have a couple Twitter names. Oh, I don't know. It, thank or you. two people worded it exactly the same way. Um, wow. I will for you. Oh, thank you. I love you, too. Um, Stephen Jasper. Carmia, did you ever find out who pooped in the bed? <laughs> I was so drunk. You know what it was? It was Tyler. He was chewing up food and spitting it at me. Ew. He was chewing food and sandwiches and bologna and spitting it into his hands and throwing it at me in the bed. So it looked like I had poop all over my white dress. That was where it started, too. Oh. And I actually was not okay with that. <laughs> But I was too drunk to really get it. in the bed. That was kind of funny. It was kind of random. Um, Lacey bed. Face One says, if you and Wes were forced in a room together, what do you think would go down? He would go on one side. I'd go on the other side. We wouldn't talk That's, to each other. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I Rock Star Keisha says, how many challenges do you think you can take on? As many as they're going to throw at me till I'm too old to come back like Paula. <laughs> or Katie. I'm, I'm the same age. <laughs> Well, you, um, you, you're, you age beautifully. <laughs> uh, and I have a real job, and I'm almost done with college. So I'm glad I did it as long as I have, and, like, I'll do it again if I can get some time off. But it's great. I've gotten to travel and see the world and, you know, do a bunch of crazy shit. And it's, it's an experience. I mean, as bad as it sucks, and we like to complain when we're on there, it's an experience that thousands of people want to do, and only a select few were picked, and I still cannot believe to this day that they even picked me. Um, right. I still am shocked about that, but it's a hell of an experience. The traveling, I mean, it's just, it's surreal. So I, you know, yeah, I'll keep going it, back. It, I mean, it is pretty awesome. As, yeah, like, because I know we always probably appear to be ungrateful, but, you know, you're like, at the end of the day, you're like, this is awesome. And look what I just um, did. Yeah. I love Ariana 101. We asked your question, or she answered your question about Leroy and Michael. Um, and I love Ariana 101 wants a shout out because she's your biggest fan. I thought she was uh, Ariana Grande's biggest fan. She can't be two people's biggest fans. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, and Kingrin007, this might be another weird one. Hey, I'm a big fan. What's your favorite fruit? What? Kingrin007 wants to know what your favorite fruit is. I always get sketched out when people ask things like that. I don't know if it's innocent or perverted. Apple? <laughs> um... Emma, Ms. Too Rude, she kind of answered how she felt about Laurel having her back. I'm just trying to speed along. No offense to anybody else, but if she yeah, already answered minutes. it. Um, who's your favorite person in the house? This was Maria. I kind of answered that. Right, right. Um, how are you and Abram doing? Oh, that's complicated. He, you know, writes one thing on my wall. I haven't called him back yet. He wrote one thing on my wall, being a jerk off. He literally, every other phone call is something different. One phone call is, you know, I love you. Why don't you just admit that you're in love with me? And, you know, let's run away together and live happily ever after in Montana. You know, and then the next message is, you know, I don't want to deal with this anymore. And I'm going to find other pretty girls and blah, blah. It's just always, every phone call is the complete opposite of the last phone call. And I right now need a break. I still... I still care about him. I still think about him all the time. He's oh. the best sex I've ever had, <laughs> ever. <laughs> it, I've not had slept with anybody since him. Uh, I I don't know what's gonna happen with us. I don't know. He's crazy, but I guess that's why I like him. Oh, um, Lizzie Elise, Katie, has anyone ever told you you look like Sophia Bush? I have, but I don't see that. But thank I don't you because it's a compliment. She's um on that one um hill. Tree Hill, One Tree Hill. I gotta, um, you look like Katie from the challenges. Yeah, I get that a lot. I get that a lot. You do the same thing to me too. I'm like, really? How many redheads with skull beads are trolling around America right now? Yeah. You know, they, they <laughs> argue with me. They're like, you're not Cara Maria. I'm like, okay, I'm not Cara Maria. I just. And somebody just said you bad. remind them of Ariana Grande, Grande. All the time. I don't, I don't, I don't, on, I'm gonna have to Google that person. She's she's on the Disney. She's on the Nickelodeon or Disney show. I, people kept tweeting that. And I had no idea who she was, and so I looked her up one day, and I really do look like I could be her big sister. It's funny. Oh, I have to check her out. I, she, um, I, it's totally funny. Who would win a fight? And this is from Just J215. Who would win a fight? CT or Ronnie from Jersey Shore? CT. I, I think I think CT. Watch Jersey. I haven't. I have not I watch watched it. one episode. I can't stop. I can't fucking stop. But I, I don't like the situation. Episode. I feel like he's such a pompous fuck going after poor Snooki's little... She's got a boyfriend. Leave her alone, you fucking Popeye-looking fuck. Okay, Can I say one on. thing about Long that? Show. 
I've never seen one episode of Jersey Shore. I tuned into an after show just because Kenny, Kenny, the host. Kenny was hosting it. So I was like, oh, well, I'll kind of get a feel for what this is about. And the only thing that I could say was, does the situation have, like, I thought he had cerebral palsy or something. Because he ta- he's like, like, I can't explain <laughs> the facial. Like, he, he ha- he's just the most hideous thing I've ever seen in my life. And he looks, he just looks like he's got <sighs> something mentally wrong with him. Yeah. And for real. For real. Like, for Okay, real. this guy, we have to go, but this guy wants you to answer this question really fast. His name is Mad Chester Truck. Did you apply for the real world originally? And if so, how far did you get and what season would you have been on? Oh, my God, that's a long story. It's literally, I, I literally just submitted my name and pictures and bio to MTV.com randomly, not applying for any certain season. And they weren't casting when I applied. I only did it just because all my friends kept watching the show. And, you know, I was like, oh, well, I could be on that. Watch me. And then so I did it. And then they sent me for Bad Girls casting. Didn't make it. Then they sent me for The Real World. When The Real World started opening up again, didn't make it. Then they sent oh, me for Real World again. Oh, you would be horrible on Bad Girls Club. <laughs> I'm not a bad. I'm not a. I'm not a bad. You just I knew it. You'd want to go home. <laughs> I, they would kick me out of the house so fast. Yeah, I, it just. It's a long story. I have no idea how the hell I ended up on this show, to be honest. Well, and they I have picked no a good one what... for you. So, do you have any plugs that you want to give? And um, I'd just like you to know we have the highest viewership yet today with you. Really? So, so yay! Yay! Hi everybody! Thank you for watching. So I, re- God, I feel like my face. Is, I've, I've been like this because I have the screen covering my. I'll own do face. it too. <laughs> Anyways, everybody, <laughs> thank you guys, and be sure to follow Cara Maria at Miss Cara Maria um, on Twitter, and I'm at Katie Doyle twenty six. And hope you guys have a fantastic evening, and I'll talk thank to you, you soon, Cara. Bye. Okay.